I was born in London and I was kind of brought up by the punk era where uh, anybody could do anything they wanted. You could start your own magazine, you could start your own clubs, your own fashion company, your own hairdresser without really knowing what you're doing. We published magazines and we did one-nighters and warehouse parties and everything we did in those days, uh, kind of guerrilla art events, was in preparation for working in advertising. I didn't know it at the time. I'm always looking for a runaway success and I'm always trying to do something that's, that's going to uh, uh, go bananas uh, with the consumers and, and, and the last thing you want to talk about is your product and, uh, and your product benefit. Really what you want to talk about is their lives and what's, what's of interest to them. There was one campaign called uh, Original Ghana Moments and it was for a lager brand that had been declining uh, uh, for 15 years. It had been the top brand in Ghana, it was called Club Beer. And so we brought out this portrait. We, we made seven TV ads. None of them had beer in them, but they were about what it's like to be a Ghanaian. That's your car, you can't park here. Why? Oh, but there is no parking sign there. Where? There, there. Now that's another original Ghana moment, brought to you by Ghana's original crisp, fresh club. Real beer, real people. And it was a runaway success. The, the brand grew by 22% almost every month. And, and now it's the biggest brand in Ghana. My first discovery of, of, of how to get a dialogue with the people we're talking to was uh, there, there was a MD of, of Unilever called Roy Williamson. And he said, what would you like to do? And I said, I'd like to do an ad about soap that doesn't have uh, two ladies with their, up to their elbows in foam. And he said, okay, so do, do it. And we, we did some research with these ladies and we talked about uh, their brand of key soap. It was called Key Soap. So we came up with this idea that they said, it, you know, I think of it as my dependable partner. And we thought, that's nice, my dependable partner. And so uh, somebody came and they wrote a story that was about, <clears throat> she says, my husband is like Key Soap. You know, Key Soap is my dependable partner. I like the way it's always there. I like the way it's been with me all these years, just like my husband. And it smells nice like my husband. And somebody had this idea to flip it. And it was such a success. Mm. Mm -hmm. The biggest mistake that Western advertisers make when they're speaking to African audiences is to imagine that African audiences are very simple and they need a very simple message and that they take things very literally. If you take any African language, it's just filled with metaphor and allusion and it's beautifully subtle. But if you don't take the time to understand African language, um, language of images and words, um, then you have to make your message very simple and very literal. And so I think the mistake is, is not really taking the trouble to understand the people you're talking to.